Hi, I'm Jackie Stapleton and welcome to Atoll TV. Today I'm here to help you with understanding the requirements of ISO 45001. If you like this video and want to see more great content, then click the subscribe button and the bell icon. It costs nothing to subscribe and you can unsubscribe at any time. video I'm going to cover clause 6123 assessment of OHS opportunities and other opportunities for the OHS management system which falls under the overarching clause 6 planning I'm going to break this clause down and turn it into something you can all understand you'll then be able to apply this to your own organization system and understand what the requirements will look like for you. No more guessing. Keep on watching as I can show you just how easy this is. Before I move on too much further now, I do want to point out that the title of this clause refers to opportunities. This isn't something that has always been mentioned as part of an OHS management system. However, opportunities have always been there. Opportunities come in the form of risk treatments and controls, new processes, new systems and training. Anything that improves the OHS management system's performance, eliminates hazards and reduces OHS risks. Right, let's get started. This clause states that the organization shall establish, implement and maintain a process or processes to assess OHS opportunities to enhance OHS performance while taking into account planned changes to the organization, its policies, its process or its activities and opportunities to adapt work, work organization and work environment to workers and opportunities to eliminate hazards and reduce OHS risks and other opportunities for improving the OHS management system. This highlights that the process for assessment should consider the OHS opportunities that are determined, their benefits and their potential to improve the OHS management system's performance. The reference to adapting work the organization of work and the work environment as well as any other opportunities to eliminate hazards and reduce OHS risks is simply recognizing that the controls that you put in place whether they come from the higher level controls such as elimination or also include lower level controls such as administration can be considered opportunities and these should be assessed to determine how well they will work to achieve the elimination of hazards as well as improvement of the OHS management system. This clause really is as simple as recognizing these opportunities in your system and including them in your assessment processes. Now that I've explained all of these requirements, can you see more clearly how you could action and demonstrate these requirements in your management system? Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Auditor Training Online is a recognized training provider and we know how it works in the real world. So we are confident that we can help you to make a change in your life and join the most sought after profession out there. Go to our website and enroll in our training to transform your work and industry experience into a recognized qualification and career. And also, don't forget to subscribe to Atoll TV and leave a comment or question as I truly do want to help you to join the best career out there with me.